life the food scene. at the Not bottom of a sink after it gets like the water gets drained down there's like food collected gets munches and eats i'm it. gonna throw up food talking that is so, so gross <laughs> All right, welcome to the Punch Drunk Podcast. I'm Paul Brooks, joined always by Michael. What's up? And Joey. How's it going, everybody? All right, there's a lot to talk about, a lot of good sports coming up over the next couple of days. Playoffs are starting, but Joey, why don't we get right into the uh, you know, the giveaway and where are we stand yeah. with the 100 subscribers and so forth. So this week was an ex- excellent week for Punch Drunk Podcast. Um we did very well with our analytics. Uh, the last podcast with the live audience was a top uh, five episode in views. Um, the shorts did very well, and our subscriber count from uh, from last week to this week uh, was the highest growing week. So now we only need about, I don't even know now, but from last time I checked, we had 80. So Yeah, so we're less than 20 left. Yes. So that we get our tattoos. Indeed. We get our tattoos at 100 subs, but we also are doing a giveaway at 100 subs. And if you don't want to win it, which is fine, you don't need to win it. So if you're subscribed and you don't want it, just subscribe. You don't you don't need to accept it. But if you want to be in the giveaway, you'll be in the giveaway, and you can have a chance to win a signed Muhammad Ali framed photo. Really nice. Very nice. Yeah. And a signed fight card by none other than Bruce Buffer. Both legitimate autographs that we'll be giving away to whoever wants it. Not to whoever, but a random person who wants it that subscribed to our podcast. Yeah, so again, it goes into a like a It goes into system. a wheel. We'll do yeah. we're gonna spin the wheel. Once we hit a hundred subs, we're gonna spin the wheel. Wow. when we're all on here and it's gonna be hundred percent legit because I mean you're gonna see it live on the wheel. And the winner will get so <clears throat> I was thinking, is the winner gonna get both of these or are we gonna do two winners? Michael, what do you think? What? Two winners? Two winners. Or just one gets both? One two, gets winners. both. Two, two winners. Two winners. Yeah, two winners. So, yeah. hey, you have a good chance to win now. So if you don't win, the one, and the winner, the first winner gets to pick which one they want. We could also do three winners, and the third gets a T-shirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, free T-shirt. Well, so, folks, even, news. so even if you subscribed, I mean, really pass it along to, you know, there's a link. You got the link out there? So pass the link along to your friends, have them subscribe, and we're just steps closer towards that giveaway and us getting our tattoos. Yep. Right, so that's tattoos good. are random tattoos. We well, said that, it before, but we're going to say it again. That was, that was, uh, it was a good week. It was and, a good and we, week. And we thank we everybody who's checking in, who's listening, who's subscribing. Uh, so keep it going, folks. Mm-hmm. And we do appreciate the comments because that's the fun part of one of our segments when we do go over comments. So uh, we would like to have that, uh, and we appreciate those. So keep it coming, folks. Um, Let's get into our betting parlays because, like I said, it is a nice, real nice sports time of the year. Uh, Playoffs are starting. But um, let's get into the parlays right now. Michael, are you ready to go, or Joe, you got yours? I have Joe go. go. I'm, Yo, you go I'm, I'm going to add in something else here. Okay. I want to also uh, mention that yesterday was a great day for me. I had, well, not really great because you saw what happened. What? I was going to say, what? It wasn't that great, but my my final parlay hit, so I got all my money back. That's what <clears> was great about it. Can you just go over that one more time, though? Like, where did you start off when you said it was a great day? I don't know. But you were like 0-5. I was 0-5. <laughs> it was one, not a great day. I was 1-7. But that one that I won, won all the money back. And it was the final one I needed Max Holloway to win to Well, that's it. exactly what I was saying to you. Like, you had a little bit of a hoose bar, and you, you put it all on to get your money put back. Put it all and on. And you did. And I won it. <laughs> otherwise. Oh Bless you. Bless me. Thank you. Otherwise. Uh, <laughs> that kid in the draft. Yeah. Well, it's funny. You just said Max Holloway, and he said, Bless. Bless, yeah. Bless. It's because I said That was good, though. Well, yeah. I guess it Good works. timing. It works, sure. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't really that good for you, though, other than you got your money The days back. before that was very good. I had a yeah. couple NHL parlays, but anyways, here's my parlay for today. Yeah. I got the D.C. Defenders who are on right now. Yeah. I got Mo- the- Money line? Money line. I Who got it? the St. Louis Battlehawks money line. I got 
the Houston Gamblers and Michigan Panthers USFL game to go over 38 and a half. And then I got the over 37 and a half for the Pittsburgh Ballers and Breakers game. It's all spring football. Uh, okay. So what I have is the defenders, but I'm going with the spread minus 10. It's a big spread. I know. I know. But uh, but they're also the best team in the league. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go Battle Hawks, money line, uh, Red Sox, money line, and the Grizzlies, um, <clears throat> money line over Denver. No. I'm sorry. Grizzlies money line. Over the Lakers. Over the Lakers. Yeah. Oh, Red Sox money line, huh? <clears throat> yeah, I, I just think that... Um, I, I trust Garrett Whitlock. I think Whitlock, after his last performance, has got something to prove, and they're at home, and I think he's going to handle it pretty well. Um, but Memphis, I just despise the Lakers, and I won't really want to. Yeah, it was weird that you went with an NBA game. Uh, I have an NBA I, parlay, too. But. but you watch more NBA than... Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I already have three for tomorrow. You can watch one NBA game and you watch; they watch more than you. Uh, All right. What do you got, Michael? All right. So I got a just a simple uh, XFL money line defenders and Battle Hawks both money line to win. And then I have for baseball, I have over nine and a half runs in the Red Sox game. Uh, the Guardians, Yankees, and then the over eight and a half in the Rays game. You went with the over on the nine and a half with the Red Sox, huh? Mm -hmm. It's been hitting like been, yeah, the Red over Sox has been, been hitting every game. Also, I want to say that you've been doing very well in your punch drunk parlays. I know. Like the last week, ding, ding, I've been ding, doing ding, really ding. well. I cashed out my account, put it on my bank account, and then I'm back up to three hundred in the account. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I won last night too. Um, so let's see if we hear more so, dings. So everyone was asking me about parlays for like the UFC. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not sure about parlays for tonight, mm -hmm. but just throw a lot on Max Holloway. So I emptied the the tank last night and put it on Max Holloway. That was a good hit. Both won that. And then um, yesterday I also had the Red Sox money line, Braves money line, Mets money line, and Guardians money line. Won that. So yeah, yesterday nice. was a good day. I did lose a couple smaller parlays in the UFC, but it, I got it back when Holloway won. I just put a simple bet on him. Yeah, we're going to get into that we'll a little bit. We'll get into the UFC because I have some work to say. <clears throat> Let's get into the NHL, though, right now. Because we get um, some pretty decent matchups. And a couple of them that are pretty going to be interesting. <clears throat> um, I love these matchups. So the Islanders yeah. uh, against the Hurricanes. You think the Islanders have what it takes to beat them? Uh, no. Injuries is going to be tough, but I do think... The I think it's up for. I think it's a random. Islanders are a very good team. They come up. They they're a team that you least expect it, but they'll they can be very good. Their goaltending can win them series. They could do like sometimes they'll lose against a shit team yeah. and win yeah. against a very good team. <laughs> Their goaltending depends can. on how they come out. But I do think the Islanders will win. I'm gonna I'm gonna reference this a lot when we go over these matchups. Goaltending can win you, can steal you games, and can steal you series. So, and that's what we talked about earlier yeah. about goaltending come playoff time. It's huge. You, yeah. it, you can't really win without a good goaltender unless you, I mean, you're a dominant team. Like I mean, I want to say when the Blackhawks were dominant and they were winning, but like even Corey Crawford back then was winning them games and he was doing well too. So. So that next series that we're looking at, the Denver, the, the Devils against the Rangers. I think Devils are the only team, if you look at it, if you're going to line them up against the Bruins at some point, <clears throat> the Devils are the team that beat the Bruins twice this year and had some pretty good success against them. Not sure I like them, so I would love to see the Rangers Devils aren't kick off the, the Devils. Round. Yeah. So yep. you think the Devils will lose to the Rangers? Yeah. Yep. We all have the Rangers, I think, right? Do you have the Rangers or no? Devils aren't making it out of the first round. I love that. No, I don't have that. I had the Devils beating the Rangers in That's the wild of you because you're you kind of like I the love Rangers. the Rangers. Every I time just we don't... go through games, you no. always pick the Rangers, and then you're going you're, after the Bruins. You better hope the Rangers don't lose. After the Bruins, the Rangers are my next favorite team. So you're saying the Devils are going to win? If the Rangers win, what are you going to do? You have to apologize to the Rangers after being after being a slight fan of them. And then saying they're going to lose to the Devils first round? 
You better hope you win that. Same, I just that's same reason. Okay, to be honest, <clears throat> I just don't think they're gonna have what it takes to beat the Devils. What do you have in this game? Uh, the Hurricanes. That's why I asked. Do you think the Islanders have what it takes to beat the Hurricanes in a series? Yeah. No. Once says yes, once says no. I don't think so either. <gasps> yeah. I got Canes and Rangers for <clears throat> the first two matchups. Um, We're going. Uh, go up. Yeah. Go up. Yeah. Go up. Yeah. What about the? So here's yeah, the other. Yeah. No, here's the other. I want to save the. Yeah. So the next one, out of the Eastern Conference. I I wish both these teams could get eliminated, just lose to each other, and just eliminate themselves. But I absolutely hate the Leafs and I hate the Lightning. Horrible. Leafs so who, who do you think comes out of that one? Uh, lightning. Leafs uh, can't make it out of the first round. This is a bad first. Yeah, but Lightning. That's also. true. Yeah. I mean. That's I think that's going seven. I that could be that teams. could be a game seven overtime. I, I I'm actually very excited to watch that. Yeah. Uh, I just talk, think that, that the game seven game seven first round that's Maple Leafs kryptonite right there. Yeah, they'll, they'll find a way, way. They'll find a way to lose it. Remember we talked last episode about do we really despise the Canadians and you know, the Montreal Canadians and the the rivalry? Like I don't like those two teams. I don't really care for the Lightning, but I hate the Maple Leafs. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> um. So I want to save the Bruins to the last. Let's flip over to the Western right. Conference, and that's an interesting series right there. Avalanche versus Kraken. Um. Yeah. Well, Avalanche. I get. Yeah. I get Avalanche too. I do too, and so does everyone. But I'm not going to okay. be surprised if they get that first round bounce after the Cup last year. That happens. It just seems like that's something with hockey. That yeah, but they'll ri- I think they rise, you know, to playoff occasion in S- Seattle. I don't. I don't know what they're gonna what they're gonna do. But although they turned it on towards the end of the year, I know. You know, that's mm-hmm. that's what got them to over hundred points. I think yeah. so. Um, the next the next one is almost completely an even matchup when you look at the team, their statistics. They played each other. Mm-hmm. It is almost dead even. Yeah, that's going seven. This is going that, uh, that is wild. Is, I absolutely yeah. think it's going seven. Yeah. Make sure you say it. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were showing it. But the star, I will, but... stars in the wild, man, I, that's the most evenly matched yeah. uh, series in the entire tournament. Like even even betting on hockey, when I was betting on when I'd see like the stars are playing or the wild, I I think of them as the same team. I'm like, I don't know. If they're gonna win, mm-hmm. like I, you really have no idea what right. team comes up for either t- for either side. So two very good teams. <clears throat> That's definitely going seven. Well, I would say. Who do you I'd like if it doesn't. Stars. 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 Yeah, I, I want stars. I think they have too much firepower. That Robertson kid's really, really good, and I think he could shine in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next up, we have the Vegas Knights against Winnipeg. I can. I want to speak, and I say I could see an upset here. I can see Winnipeg Jets winning. I can see the upset. I don't think. I don't think Vegas Knights are a number one seed. I don't think they're as good as the other number one seeds either. They started off <clears throat> like really hot mm-hmm. in the beginning of the season. They were like close with the Bruins, and yeah. then they just kind of like tailed off, and then and they got good at the end. Then they got. Then they turned it on again late in the season. So they're pretty inconsistent. But mm-hmm. I mean, if they keep playing well, I mean, the they're only, one the, seed for a reason. The only reason why I'd give it to Vegas is that they <clears throat> do have home ice advantage, right. and they are very tough at home. Yeah, I think that's going to matter a lot. And yeah, especially in hockey, I think that matters. Although that, I mean, I, some people I, say it I wouldn't be surprised if there was an upset, Joey. But I do think that Vegas is very tough at home, and that's where they're going to take it. Yeah. Um, the next one, uh, I don't, I, the Oilers are absolutely hot. So we got Oilers against the LA Kings. LA Kings struggled over the last five, six games. Kings are going to win that series. Really? Yep. That, I think this is the easiest. I've, Besides the Bruins, I think this is the easiest pick. I said the, the Oilers, Oilers and four. King, Kings are going to win that series. They, how many games? They, um, it, probably six or seven, but they snuck in. No one really even talked about them all year. That's a big take. No one thought they were coming. No one thought they were even going to be close, and then now they're in the playoffs. Like, you didn't hear about them at all. They kind of just snuck in there. Didn't you know they were in the playoffs? <clears throat> That's because the last six games, they are like one and five or two and four. They, they were struggling all the way through towards the end. I mean, they kind of they were off and back on all season. No one really knew. Yeah, they found their way in, so I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. I have Oilers in four. I don't I have, think it's going to I had Oilers in five, so... Maybe every game might be like four nothing, and they're going to win the series four. I was given like the Kings winning one, and then uh, 
Then the others would take it. All right, let's Good go. Old to fashioned the, gentleman sweep. Let's go to the best series right now. And this, there's been a lot of talk already. There's a lot of locker room chat and post of material that I'm sure the Bruins have. Their coach was saying stuff. I didn't hear any of this. Their players were saying stuff about how they're going to mentally uh, uh, do some things to really screw with the Bruins. What? Oh, yeah. The, the Panthers are? Who said yeah. this? Where did you see this? Good luck. I'm going to see if I can pull <clears throat> up the quotes. Um, Panthers fucking suck. They claim they have, uh, well, they beat them. They beat the Bruins. But they claim they have the right defense and matchups. Okay. Is that the game they beat us when, like, the last second or something? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah it was. that was a bullshit game. I wish I could f- pull up that quote quick. Should Anyways. Have that, I should have that ready. But um, I'll give them one down in Florida and have the Bruins going in five. Yeah, I'd say four or five. Four. I don't see them losing to the. It's always tough when when the Panthers. You know, you're at home. You win the first two. You're gonna fly to Florida. It's gonna pay in the ass. But yeah, but you're not going across the country either, so it's a little easier of a flight. I still, I'll I'll give them one. Panthers got lucky with one game against the Bruins. I and I think it's for me. I think the Bruins are gonna win the Stanley Cup. I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, lose the first three and then they lose that second one in Florida. Yeah. You know, and then the Bruins come back here. So the Bruins and, will and, and it, wrap it yeah. up. And um, I think they're all healthy. I think that uh, everything was the big to do about last game against Montreal, about Bergeron playing and why he's playing and all Mark resting and yeah. everything was precautionary. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah, I everybody, theory, to everybody, he took a lot of heat for playing some of the guys that he played, including Bergeron. But when people really think about it, you know, Bergeron's from Quebec. It is one of the provinces – that where he's from, even though it's in Montreal, it's not downtown Quebec. But you know, maybe he's playing in front of his family that was at the game for one last time. Yeah, They'll you never see him up there. Yeah, you know. So maybe that's the reason why they said, "Listen, play the period. We're going to get you out of there. Everything's precautionary. Who knows?" But he's earned the right to make that call, oh, yeah. and I think he did. So, uh, but good luck, and I think all Mark will be healthy anyway. So. Hey, everyone's good to We're go. Good. They already sent Boosie back down to Providence. So, uh, quickly, I, I want to let this not let this go. Um, but the NBA, the Celtics won yesterday. They had a big win. Yeah, uh, and I think they're just going to take that series almost in a sweep. Yeah, I think so too. I think they sweep that. Yeah, and then towards the uh, as we get towards the semifinals, uh, we'll start. Oh, I also had a, an NBA bet for today too. I have the Bucks, Lakers plus four, and the Suns. Small. So you took the Lakers plus four, yeah. Yeah. I I actually think the Lakers get their ass kicked, and I hope they do. Grizzlies are a pretty good team. All right, let's talk about the UFC. <clears throat> Last night it, it won you guys uh, some money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I uh, told people it, stay kind of stay away from a parlay there, but go big on Holloway. I knew Holloway was going to win. I felt like his striking was going to be. Too good for uh, Arnold Allen, and it was. Yeah, what was the final? It was 49 46, 49 46, and. And then 48 47. Yeah. I it, I think that's fine judging. That's well. fair. Yeah, well, if, if you look at Holloway after, you know, his face was a little marked up, but I think. It always he, is, though. He okay. just fought so well. Yeah. You know, his his uh, striking accuracy was, was pretty damn good. Um, so I th- I think that was a uh, that was a nice job by Max Holloway last night. Um, what did you think of Barboza? Man, I like Billy Q. <laughs> I thought Billy Q was actually going to win. I had I thought Billy, I had Billy Quarantino in two bets. Mm-hmm. I did too. Did I, I? But I was like betting against Edson Barboza. I know. Should I, I have done that? That wasn't smart. And <clears throat> Barboza was uh, underdog. But he was like it was like plus one twenty five yeah. or something. I was like, why yeah. didn't I take that? I said that yesterday. I was like. Even if you think Edson Barbosa is an wins. underdog, you should just take yeah, that. It's a good, that, and like it's different because Billy Q is great stupid ground game. Yeah. yeah, and Barbosa is great stand up. She just went with Barbosa. I would, even even just out of a uh, not even in a parlay, just put some money on Barbosa. Should have done yeah. that. That was, that was a knee, right? Huh? It was a knee. Yeah, but, it was a knee. Uh, yeah, no. while you were sleeping, the fight happened. He fell asleep during that fight. Kind of boring a little bit. Some of the other ones. That fight was yeah. It wasn't the best card. No. It wasn't the best. Yeah, but there's. You know what fight I kind of liked too, but I ended up losing was uh, the Dustin Jacoby one. Yeah, I lost that Dude, one. What but, was um, he doing at the end? I don't know. Go for the finish. Yeah, he doing. He, and his coach just told him, he was like, "Hey, you got to finish." Like this is this he is had it. to though. Yeah, and he was just hugging him. 
Was yeah, he, I mean, he, he's you probably gas, but dude, the other guy was way, the other guy was way tired. The other guy was about to lose. Azamat Mercer, I don't even know, pronounce his name. Yeah, that's Azamat. a tough one. I didn't think. What about Guida? Clay Guida, bro, you got to retire. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I'm shocked when I even. Saw, I didn't even know he was fighting until I saw. I was looking at bets yesterday. I was like, Clay Guida, like what? Now uh, you know he does. He still have to do it for money? Like I'm confused. Yeah. Um, I thought he was going to retire, but he did not. He I don't think. I don't he think said he took out his gloves and he was going to fool the crowd. <laughs> okay, fooled me. I thought he was retiring, but like anybody would have thought he was retiring. I mean, at this point, he's just going to do it, have a fight just to do it, so he can do it. You'd think that he might just retire without even putting the gloves down, but yeah, now you I, have to. I think it's time to time to get out. Other than that, there wasn't really too much left on that card. Well, the prelims were kind of with some like. Just some, I don't want to say no names, that's rude, but yeah. like up and coming guys. Up who, and comers, yeah. yeah. A couple undefeated people. Which can be some of the best, you know, prelim cards. Yeah. So the next one we got down in New Jersey, I think, right? Who's the next one? Um, it, it, the next fight is Blades and uh, Curtis oh, Blades. Blades. What's the other guy? Curtis Reed. a Russian dude or somewhere. He has a weird last name. We have a laptop. Look it up. Curtis Blades versus Pavlo. Pla- Pav. Joey, we're going to switch over this now, the Banana Award. Now, we, we have this. We got, got the bananas. We got this yeah, thing. we got them. So these, uh, what does it say on the front? Top Banana Award. Top Banana Award. And then on the back, <laughs> we'll, we'll have stickers with the Punch Drunk Podcast logo on it. And uh, we've had our segments on the Banana Award and who has won them. Yeah, I'll explain what it is. Right. Yeah. And so then the, I want you to get right into the yeah. award for this week. So the Banana Award is an award that we give... To somebody who has the worst, most dumb ass comment on our page, whether that's TikTok, YouTube, or anything involving Punch Drunk Podcast. Uh, we had a couple past winners that are, what should we say? They're very prominent in our yeah. page. Yeah. So, very active. This week, very, very active, active yeah. very active. But this week, we're giving the Top Banana Award to somebody that made a very Stupid oh, it was comment. an absolute bozo comment. It was a bozo comment. Stupid. It didn't really make sense. <clears throat> and it here's the comment. This guy thought there was the Masters on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> he thought... Well, I thought since delayed. the delay is in the weather that we're going to have Championship Monday. We, we actually even named it. You actually even named it Masters, Masters. Monday. <laughs> I, thought that, I didn't name it. That's been a thing. You said that? Not this year. I thought you it was. Said, That's why I said that. I was like, I got excited for it. We'll show a clip, but you said... Who we got Masters Monday, and I didn't know what you mean, meant by that. I thought I was like, like forgetting something, so I didn't even respond. I was like, oh. Okay. I thought the whole time that since they they had the delay, and then they had another delay. I was like, oh, there's two delays. There's no way they finish on Sunday. We had a so cut. in my head, I just didn't without even like looking into it. I I was watching the whole thing. I just figured it was Monday. Yeah, they were actually playing the the third round yeah. before they started the other round. I just figured, why would they do that? They've had Masters Monday before. Might as well yeah. Play again. But do you so, want to present? Do you want to present the award? So I'm going to present the first ever banana award to one of us. Yeah, that is you. Good, so, I'll remember this. Congratulations. We um we actually had a cut. <laughs> better be careful today because <laughs> I'm gonna write down all your comments. <laughs> oh, I already I already got one. You're, you're getting one for what? Some, some one of the. Uh, oh, go ahead. Something That's you're putting on your your movie list here. So yeah, yeah, there ain't no banana. Nice. Yeah, um. Well, folks, actually, <clears throat> we didn't have any bad comments this week. No, we had we had good comments. Had I was gonna say I didn't see anything, so I was like, so we, we like, oh, yeah. you know, we like, love the comments. <laughs> we yeah. we need the comments. We love the comments. So, folks, subscribe when you watch the YouTube videos. When you watch the shorts, keep commenting. Our YouTube shorts don't do it's, anything. It's part of our Socks. segments, so That's just uh, positive. Just take care of that. Yeah, TikTok is good. So we're gonna remove. I'm that. being on. I'm real though. I'm real. We're not removing it. I'm being real with you. The YouTube shorts suck. They don't do that? anything. What was that they don't do the anything. Top right. YouTube suck. What? What's the note on the top right? Yeah, top I, right. Positivity. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like uh, TikTok's so more TikTok's more of a platform for the shorts. That's why. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like you can be scrolling through true. TikTok YouTube and you'll is see full videos, which is right. why our full videos, our podcasts do very well. TikTok, our shorts do very well. Right. But I'm still gonna post shorts on YouTube. Yeah. All right. But it's not meant for that. <clears throat> yeah. You never really um, see. You don't actually see full podcast episodes on TikTok. You see, you know, shorts, and then it will say, click to watch full episode. That's yeah. Right. Um, yeah, but we're the real podcast. It says on our bio, the realest podcast ever. So we the keep realest? it real. The realest. The realest, yep. 
We okay. keep it real. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a break right now so you can hear from our sponsors. And when we come back, a couple of exciting uh, segments that we have coming up. So here's a message from one of our sponsors. Hogwash Barbecue, the best barbecue around. All right, welcome back to the Punch Drunk Podcast. Uh, as you see, have seen, the commercial break was our sponsor, Hogwash Barbecue. And what I had not mentioned before is Mike Lane, one of our regulars, is on assignment. Uh, so uh, good luck to Mike, who couldn't join us today. Uh, but Hogwash, uh, best barbecue around. Yeah, they're at a competition right now. Good luck to Hogwash Good Barbecue. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Um, <clears throat> again, Jake pa Paul has made the news. Yeah, Jake, pa pa Jake, <laughs> Jake Paul has made the news. Again, the marketing genius that he is. Uh, this time he is uh, locked in against Nate Diaz. What an idiot. In a boxing match, right? Yep. So At 185, right? I don't, know if anybody, I don't know if anybody's got any Probably. thoughts. My only thought is I would love to see Jake Paul take Nate Diaz in the cage. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Jake Paul say this whole time he was getting, you know, into MMA so yeah. eventually? I mean, yeah. and then he goes, oh, no, actually he's going to be, a, uh, you know, a boxing, you know, WBC champion. And then, well, I mean, what's he going to do? Is He, he keeps flip-flopping. What's he, I don't know. Going to go MMA? Is he gonna, are they going to do MMA and I can guarantee like, you that Jake Paul will never do an MMA fight. Guarantee that. Then stop saying. Yeah. He's getting to be like Dylan Danis. Exactly. But how about this? We can also guarantee you that this will probably be Nate Diaz's biggest payday. Or close to well, it. Or close Connor to fights. it. Oh, Connor. I mean, does Jake Paul really bring in the money? Besides the last fight, the last fight did really well. But like he alone, Jake Paul and Tyron alone got thirty million and he lost. Yeah, that fight. But <clears> his <throat> other fights weren't really that. They didn't bring in that much money. He lied about how much he made. He lied about yeah, how he much his tell opponents were yeah. Well, I, I think so that who Jake, really knows Jake Paul himself and the name Nate Diaz himself. He'll bring in viewers. I'm sure they're so going to get people want to see. Money. So many people want to see Nate Diaz just kick his ass. All right. And there's also going to be the Jake Paul fans that want to see this. I want to say that Jake Paul, I had respect for you since you were fighting real boxers. And I, I get it how in your first couple fights you were fighting MMA fighters. I got I got that when other people were hating on you. But now since you fought a real boxer and then you're going back to an MMA fighter. I yeah. mean, yeah, he's good at boxing, Nate Diaz. But he's old, he's retired in MMA, and he's... He's an MMA fighter. Why I, are you boxing? I, it doesn't make sense. Why would you go back? I would debate when you said Nate Diaz is a good boxer. What? Dude. He's a I fighter. Cut no, that out. Listen, no. No, no, listen. A boxer or a fighter brawler, I have no problem with that. But a boxer, don't forget, Nate Diaz has been able to use every part of his body, leg kicks, anything, when he's doing his MMA. Boxing-wise, is just boxing skills. Now, he's a yeah. brawler, and he's a fighter, and he's a tough kid who bleeds all over the place. But boxing, <laughs> boxing style, I don't know. He's, I know he can fight. He trains I'm gonna, boxing. I'm, I'm, he, wouldn't you? Yeah, he's he he boxing. is a boxer. Like I'm, I'm totally boxing. <clears throat> he has some of the best boxing I've seen in the UFC. And don't point to the banana when I say that. Well, you because, might get it. You honestly why? might get it because wait till the comments. First of all, come he's right now we, we might have to get. Yeah, that how, was many wild. Boxing, how many that boxing? How many boxing matches? That was wild. We both looked. He doesn't have any professional. We might have to cut that out. He has a lot of amateurs. I hope you're ready. We have to cut that out. I hope you're ready, Dad, for sure. Yeah, I can't. No interrupting. We need to interrupt on this one because we're saving you. Yeah, we might have to cut that out, Dad. No, we're gonna keep it he in. Was Andre Ward's if you Ward's stand top by sparring it, you partner, stand by Andre it. Ward was number number one contender. How many boxing His matches? His main sparring partner was Nate Diaz. How many boxing matches has Nate Diaz had? I don't even think it matters how many. It, boxing it doesn't matches. matter. That's so, his so, background. so you don't know. I I. Would you is, his background, is his background is in grappling, kickboxing, Muay Thai? What what is his background in? He's converted into a boxer. Yeah, and it, like and he's a black belt. Like, beginning of his career. Yeah, but, He's a jiu-jitsu fighter, but he converted into a, a great boxer. And he even says he wants to do boxing. He well, said that in the don't past. Don't get me wrong. I like Nate Diaz, and I hope he wins. And he can be a boxer. But I'm not so sold on the fact that he is a trained boxer. 
He's in, training, the sp- in the sport of boxing. boxing. He probably trains more boxing than MMA. Yeah, he definitely does he now. He trains more boxing than MMA. His boxing is so crisp. My thing is... Put now that, now he's award back now he's boxing right this is this is a boxing match, so you know he's gonna get hit in the body he's gonna get hit in the head and that's what that's what you do in boxing you try to avoid it and you try you try and hit his scar tissue is so bad when it comes to m m a and there's so many more different aspects of m m a where you can avoid getting hit in the face right grappling yeah. wrestling whatever I'm not so sure he can take. You know that many punches. How, what what uh, ounce gloves are they using? Ten. Ten. I I think. I don't know if that his face is going to hold up. The scar tissue, I think, is just going to pop right open. He's going to be bleeding like crazy in a boxing match. I agree. I mean, Jake um, Paul can deliver a punch. We've seen that. Yeah. Who do we have for winning? If it's just boxing. Yep. I think Jake Paul. To be honest. I'm gonna. I, I want to go well, Nate Diaz. Well, to be honest, I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna go Nate Diaz, but I'm nervous about the scar tissue and him just bleeding <clears> everywhere, <throat> and then them not being able to control. Why are you going Nate Diaz then? Because I don't necessarily think that's how Jake Paul is gonna win. I'm nervous about it, but I still think Nate Diaz can will beat him. I don't think Diaz is gonna really care that much. Yeah, that's so I have Jake Paul. Winning. I was gonna say that too. I well, don't he think. Really give a fuck. Like, Diaz didn't even care against Leon Edwards. He was right. joking around. After he almost knocked him out, Diaz was pointing at him. Yeah, you mean he's going to care about Jake Paul? He's yeah. not going to care. So Nate, I had Jake Paul. He's just going for a bag right there. I, I think that Nate Diaz is looking at this, saying, look at the other guys and look at the money that they made. This purse is going to be gigantic. Mm-hmm. And I think he's going to make probably probably his best payday. Jake Paul wants to win and needs to win. Diaz doesn't need to win or want to win. I don't think he cares. He just wants to get payday. He'll give a good fight, I think. He'll He's not going to lose fight. that much in his name and reputation either. No, because no one really cares. Nobody cares. Nobody's gonna, nobody thinks he's like the best in the world like Anderson Silva. That's right? why I'm not so sure this will be a, as big of a payday as everyone thinks and as you think. Because, like, this is... Oh, okay, now, just like Joe said, okay, now he's going back to fighting MMA, retired MMA fighters. Like, now we're just back to square one. I'll watch this. Yeah. Well, yeah. Jake Paul and his uh, team will probably try to figure out the best night to put it on so it's not going up against anything. Sure they will. So it's not going up against anything, and and you know they'll do some you know scripted brawl at weigh-ins or whatever, and and they may have somebody <laughs> on an undercard that somebody wants to see. Yeah, well, you they'll know. have to have a good undercard. Ocho Cinco may uh, that's not get in the ring. That's not going to again. That's not going to do it. But it may happen. <laughs> but there's other names that he may <laughs> put on an undercard. They need actual like good. Yeah, there could be professionals names. that are going to be on. There could be names that are, could be on that undercard, and I just think it's interesting. Uh, but I do think Jake Paul in that. If it was in the cage, I would go to Diaz. I don't think Jake Paul knows what he's doing in the cage against most people. So you can get any MMA fighter and put him up against Jake Paul in the cage. Right. Yeah, <sighs> that's why he'll, he'll never do it. He'll say he'll do it, but he never will. Okay, that brings us to our next segment. Brought uh, to you by Paul Brooks. Yeah, or Paul. this this I've done this before. <clears throat> What's the worst dare or even competition you've gotten involved with? I was dared to uh, go into a. Like a jalapeno hot pepper eating contest. My freshman year when I was at, at Boston College, there was a, a a bar that everybody had frequented, and uh, there was a competition there. So I did thirty seven jalapeno peppers, like hot peppers. Jeez. The worst thing about it is I lost. <laughs> so you didn't even get anything out of it. No, I got sick. That's terrible. I got sick. Yeah. Have you, honestly, have you done anything crazy like on a dare? What's the I, worst I can't even think of that, but I'd have to say like one of the same things. Like there was this hot sauce that um, someone had. I don't even know the name of it. It was a black label, and it's not sauce that you put on wings. You don't put it on food. You, you, it's like a dash of it in like chili or something. It's an enhancer. Yeah, and like I took a small spoonful. Yeah, not not even a spoonful. I'm sorry, a little a like a pick. Full. Yeah, like yeah. a two po- two two pool. Put it on my tongue. It it was. Painful. I I threw up. It was so bad. Like I that's something like two million spicy. Scoville units or something. It, it, yeah, it's it was so bad. It felt like I um like like swallowed a bottle of like OC spray. Um, like um yeah, it was bad. I'll and it smelled terrible. Tasted terrible. Three for three on the spiciness. I had to eat the Carolina Reaper wings once. I thought it was gonna be easy. It was so spicy, and I had an empty stomach. It burned. It 
because when you eat spicy fruits with an empty stomach, it burns the, uh, uh, what's it called? The um, walls of your stomach. And that's what it did. It was the worst pain. I had to stop every time I was walking. It was so bad and I couldn't throw up and I tried to. Every time I threw up, like a little bit, it would burn my mouth again. It was so bad and I'll never eat a spicy food. Did, they, spicy did they let you have milk with that or anything? No, they didn't. They had honey, which Ooh. honey just. Or that well candy from the last episode. That was awful. That they might be up balls. there too. Isn't it crazy how people can solely build companies on like spicy wings that put people in absolute pain? Yeah, sauces. How, how like and I just don't get how you build a huge business, but you like people really do. It's crazy to me how you can have a sustainable business <clears throat> with something that puts people in utter pain and like they don't finish. Yeah, let me challenge. let me, let me, let me make you sweat, challenge. cry, yeah, burn, and feel like shit for at least two days. And then when it comes out of your ass, it's just gonna burn a hole through it, larger. And people are like, yeah, I'll, let's try it again. It's Pocky, the Pocky Chip Challenge. People like the challenge. Know that Pocky One Chip Challenge? Oh, yeah, yeah. I used, to work, with a, like I used to work with a guy that, that sprinkled hot sauce in his yogurt. Yeah. In yogurt. We, it's like, That's I don't know, what are you trying to do? Like, what are you doing? You don't need you're hot sauce weird, that bad. You're a weird person. Yeah, you're trying, you're to right. make a, trying to prove a point. You're trying you're to be like, I'm yeah. cool. I can eat hot sauce. Yeah. No, you're a fucking weirdo. You eat hot sauce with your yogurt. Yeah. I mean, it sound I, good. It was certain, weirdo? certain things. Chili. Yeah. Put a little in chili. They get like yogurt's like uh like almost sweet. It's sweet. It's fruit yeah. and stuff. There's a store up in New sauce, Hampshire right? that sells so many different styles of hot sauce. What is it? Uh, Zebs? Yeah, I think it is. Zebs. Shout out to Zebs. Shout out to Zebs. They have Isn't some that in North Conway. Yeah. Did we go there? Yeah, we we always, yeah. But you can buy like we like I bought there. one. I bought one. This is like butt blaster. That's the name of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell of it. Like it smells you, like it'll the make extract of the leaf. That's it, all it, it does. makes your it's eyes terrible. tear up. Yeah, <clears throat> you, so. you can smell the extract. Like it doesn't even smell like you know. I'm gonna get a buffalo sauce or hot sauce. It smells like you. They got the extract right off the leaf and put it in the bottle. Yeah, it's terrible. So I want to see comments like from people. What was your strangest or worst dare? That you've ever done, Mike. If we had Mike on, he'd tell us a story about how he ate a worm, which is fucking yeah. gross. It's foul. It's nasty. He told me. I, I like changing that. What was the weirdest or uh, grossest. grossest thing you ever been dared to eat? Yeah, because that's basically what it really it is. You're like, so oh, I dare you to this eat. I, I know one thing. The the food at the bottom of a sink after the water gets down. Oh. Right down. <laughs> Someone does that, I'll throw up. That's I've seen a video of a guy eat that. I'll put I, it on the screen, but no, I don't. Please don't, because I don't want to see that. Uh, there's a video. There's of some things I don't food, eat. I can live life without seeing. The food seeing. at the Not bottom of a world. sink after it gets like the water gets drained down. There's like food collected. Get munches and eats. I'm it. gonna throw up if you keep talking. That is so. So gross. so here's it's what I saw. Terrible, I, saw right? I saw. I saw four guys at that same bar that I was telling you about earlier. But I saw four guys. Get up in a, in a uh, stunt. The first guy would get up with a like an eight ounce cup with a toothbrush in it, brush his teeth, spit back in the cup, and he'd <laughs> pass it down the line. What? And they would use the same. It was disgusting. They'd use the same brush. Is this in Ireland? The water? No, it was in Brighton. So. Oh, I was gonna say. And I mean, if it was in Ireland, it might make me. It was absolutely disgusting. Ugh. Same brush, everything. And they just like gargle. You had to gargle it, spit it back out. Next one, next Stop. one, next one. Yeah, that's so. If that horrible. doesn't make your stomach turn. Holy shit! What's wrong with some people? I don't know. I don't know. They didn't do it for much. The only thing with mine is thirty-seven hot peppers. Uh, it just it got me in second place and sick. So I didn't get anything. Um, that's like the worst possible scenario yeah. for that one. Next one, next segment. We want to have comments. Also, we are going to get into our top five favorite movies. Now these are not. This is not a draft. This is not us ranking. Uh, you know the movies. This is it's our, not. Yeah, it's, it's not the opinion. best movies. It's just our opinion. The best movies would be a different list, but this is our favorite. Now we are allowing the top five, and we're allowing some honorable mentions. Yeah. Um. So was, you want me to go first? Or? Yeah, you can go first. All right, I'm gonna go first. So my honorable mentions, I have three of them. I have Tommy Boy, The Town. And the departed, I should say the departed. Yeah, sure. Okay, good honorable those, mentions. Yes. Those are my honorable mentions. Number five, Pulp Fiction. Number four, The Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. Excellent movie. Number three, Shawshank Redemption. Now, number two, I like 
Number two is Saving Private Ryan. Great movie. Excellent movie, yeah. And number one is Goodfellas. All great movies. I see you only have one comedy, and that's in your honorable mention, which is Tommy Boy. Not so much of a... It's hard to be a comedy movie to be... To be in the top. But your favorite movie. You can have all favorite. Right. Any favorite movie could be anything. It might not be a great movie, but it's your favorite, so... So you, your favorites, you only have one comedy, so you're more of a a gang and type I'm, movie. And I'm also more of a multi-cast, not just like one, not just like Jack Nicholson or... Right. You know, I, didn't, I don't even think I have uh, Clint Eastwood in this. No. He has some good movies. But I have, uh, I, have, I, have, I have a series of movies that have multiple actors, you know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, John Travolta, mm-hmm. fantastic. I'll share my list. So, so that's mine. That's pretty good. Pretty Thank good. You. No, for a guy that doesn't even. Want and you're going to list these. Uh, this <laughs> exactly right. It's a good list. So my all honorable mentions: I have the Truman Show, that's Black Mass, movie. Daddy's Home, uh, Parasite, and John Wick Four and John Wick One. Uh, and my top five at number five: I have American Sniper with Bradley Cooper. Django Unchained, Unchained with Jamie Foxx, uh, praying for Jamie Foxx right now. Wolf of Wall Street, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, Get Out by Jordan Peele and Gran Torino with Clint Eastwood at number one. I could have predicted your top two. Uh, you love that movie, Get Out. Get Out, I've seen multiple times. I don't even like horror movies that much. It's harder to have a really good horror movie. That is an excellent. That's a masterpiece. Yeah, I think. Get Out, su- such a good movie. I don't, um, I don't like horror movies, so I didn't have any. Uh, Django Unchained, I was like, I knew it was going to be good from the start. I was like, this has to be a cool movie. And it was very dope. Uh, I don't know why I said dope. John Wick 4, I saw that in the movies recently. Fucking amazing. Great fight scenes. The, right. One of the fight scenes, I think, if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about, with the overhead, w- wicked cool. So, All right. Uh, my honorable mentions, um, Stand By Me. Breakfast Club, uh, Gone Baby Gone, and Law Abiding Citizen. Those are some of my honorable mentions. Um, now that I'm looking at my list, they're kind of all like the same genre. Breakfast Club is a good movie. Yeah, they're all the same genre, kind of. <clears throat> a lot of dramas. Uh, but five, um, I go with Goodfellas. Four, uh, Shawshank Redemption. Three is Four Brothers. Two is Goodwill Hunting. And one is Forrest Gump. What? Forrest, Forrest Gump, Gump is your yeah. favorite movie of all time? Wow. I can sit there and watch that back. I could watch that, finish it, and watch it again. So just when I thought you were going to choose movies the same way I did with multiple stars in it, you kind of lean towards Tom Hanks. Yeah. And in, uh, in number one. You're going to have four brothers. I knew that was going to be on the list. Yeah, I mean, Good Will Hunting is a masterpiece. Again, multiple actors. Yep. Shawshank Redemption. You would Shawshank at one. There's multiple it. actors too. Yeah. Forrest but then, wow, Gump. Forrest Gump. That was yeah. a shock. I could watch it. I just love the story about how, like, he <laughs> literally. That story always fascinated me. Like, it's just about a guy who everyone shit on, and he literally lived history. Like, everything part of his life yeah. was based on something in history. I just love how they created that. And don't get me wrong, it did have some great cast members and, in that movie, right? But it was really geared with Tom Hanks. Yeah. Probably one of the saddest movie scenes at the end too, when he's talking to Jenny's grave. That's that gets you every time. Yeah. Where do you guys put like Jenny? Mark Wahlberg movies. You have four brothers. I have four brothers. Do you have a Mark Wahlberg movies. movie? No, I started looking like I don't have. I mean, some you of the, the Departed. Some of the best actors. I mean, either. Oh, I Departed, don't, but I don't have. I don't. I don't have Jack. Nicholson I have Daddy's Home. He's not mentioned. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, what's it called? Um, with uh, when he was uh. And I had the Lone Departed. Survivor. Lone Survivor was a great movie. I had the Departed yeah. in in uh, honorable mention. You know who I put on my in here on my list and in honorable mentions, which is kind of a sneaky actor, is Casey Affleck because I've Gone Baby Gone as an honorable mention yeah. and Good Will Hunting. He can be he's really good supporting uh, roles in those type of movies. Uh, but he was a lead actor in Gone Baby Gone. You think he's better than Ben? No. Depends on the part they play, to be we, honest. Yeah. Gone Baby Gone was meant for Casey Affleck. It's a really good movie. Catch Me If You Can. We didn't have that. I think that's an excellent movie. That's a good movie. Um, Remember the Titans? You, you, who, wait, do we have any uh, sports movies? No. None of us had any sports movies. 
That would have to be one of my favorite sports movies. Is like Remember the Titans, yeah, the Miracle. I would have greater, uh, greater, excellent movie with Brandon Burlesworth. I would have had like yeah. Brian I mean, Brian song Brian Piccolo. Right. Yeah, that's a great. That's a great. You know, that's a, that's a great sports movie. Um, you know, if you really want to get into Invincible, Rocky, but we've already Rock talked Warwick. about boxing movies, but yeah, you know, Brian Piccolo uh, and Brian Song was probably one of my better ones. Sad as shit. Yeah, it's a very sad movie. Yeah. And we didn't we didn't really choose any real real old movies. I was shocked that none of you guys had Black Mass. It's I was shocked. it's great, but I like these movies better. Yeah, old movies is in like if we did like top ten, that would probably be on there. Yeah, that or the town, one of them would be on there. But like Stand by Me, I'm surprised I didn't even put that on my list because that Stand by Me is one of my favorite movies too. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of an older movie, but not really. Comedy movies, I was the only one. No, I'm talking about like we didn't get like shit from the 40s. Casablanca. I've never seen it. The reason why movies fucking suck from the 40s. Who had the oldest movie? What's the oldest movie on your list? Because this says a lot. My oldest movie was like, I think The Truman Show. Yeah, you definitely don't. I I mean, I have uh, Goodfellas. Yeah, we're talking probably going back to... 90s? Yeah. The Truman Show? Let's see what year that went out in. That was my oldest show, the 98, 1998. That was my, and Look up Goodfellas and Shawshank. Goodfellas was probably like, give, give a guess. 95. 1990. Uh. Shawshank was 1994. 90s was a good year for movies, apparently. But, um... That's my list. That's your list. We all have good movies. Yeah. But someone in the comments will say some like shit movies and be like, "Where's ass on your list? Movie sucks." Yeah. For, yeah. Fucking movies ass. That's probably where we'll get. Uh, Wait, how come you didn't put Citizen Kane from 1941? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Orson Welles' debut, whatever that fuck it was. But the, this is where we're gonna have banana. Banana awards. Award. Yeah. Bananas it's gonna come will from, be given out. Yeah. Bananas would. From, bananas are gonna be sucked. Someone's gonna be like, "Where's Shrek?" Yeah. yeah. Be some Shrek, Shrek on your list, dude. Friends. How about, what's your opinion on Shrek? Because this could get a lot of hate. What's your opinion on Shrek? Oh, I love Shrek. I, I like it. I think it's and, a great and franchise. I, like a lot I, of those. I thought we were going to hate it, but. No, I like I a lot like of Shrek. The... It's a great franchise. I don't mind Shrek, but Shrek won. Shrek, the other Shrek is kind of. I think it's funny. I, yeah, for sure. I think it's funny. Yeah, I mean, you can certainly. First one's best. I'll do the con. One could have been just it. They didn't need any making another one. sequels to it. They are? Bullshit. They, I think Shrek is making another one. Oh, they, it's going to be bad. It's yeah, gonna no. Be, it's going to be dreadful. I mean, you, you end up running the, the gamut on that. Yeah. I, one is done, and that's great. And the graphics, I think, are nice. Like some of those type of sh- the movies I like. Um, I hope they don't make another. What show have we been watching lately? Any good shows? I've been watching Beef. I saw it all in two days. Beef on <laughs> Netflix. It's the number one show on Netflix right now. It's fucking amazing. Well, you know the great storyline. I told you about the ones that Succession. Succession. That I yeah, I started start- watching that. It's a really good show. Yeah, that's and about a, like the again, a cast of you know they're not big time actors in it, but it's yeah. it's well done. It's well done. Yeah, no, that is a good show. That's about like the because uh, I stopped watching it, but I think I watched the pilot and I really liked it. Yeah, With no, the father who's given the, the he has kids. The state. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah, if you want to watch good TV shows, Succession and Beef. Those are the two Beef. shows. Or if you want to watch a, a documentary, the Boston Marathon documentary. Yeah. Out on Netflix. Great insight on everything that's ha- yeah. that happened. Yeah, I enjoyed. You, it. you learn a lot that you didn't know. Exactly, it's a really you good. Still don't know. They We're put it together massive. really. There's yeah. still some things. There's I didn't still know. lingering effects. People are still. You know, people lost limbs and stuff. Yeah, like it's shows. not just. You know, what's happening nowadays? Right. And stuff, so it's stuff is still going on. Shout out to the Boston Marathon. Be going off tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Are we going right into shout outs? Shout yeah. out to all the runners. They're yeah. still running. Shout out to all the you know please. EMS, shout out to Boston. Fire. Um, shout out to Boston. Well, no, responders. Joey, I, th- I think you nailed it right there. But go ahead, Michael. I didn't want to interrupt. Just saying, you. shout out to all the yeah. uh, all the runners, uh, everyone who sets this up, uh, the police, EMS, fire, all the first responders who have to be there too. Um, yeah. Because they were there that day, and you know they saved a lot of people. Yeah, uh, shout out Boston Strong, everybody involved with the marathon. Good luck to the runners. There is no way, even after training. I mean, I got friends that are running in this thing, and some of them have been doing it for this is like their fifteenth, sixteenth time. I'm like, are you kidding me? I give anybody all the credit. Run twenty six miles. 
What do you think uh, the final time is going to be? It's probably going to be there's like few, two, two, hours, here. two hours and six minutes. Do we have any Boston here. Marathon parlays going on? No, but uh, I have, par- uh, <laughs> what's his name? Benson Caputo. And then Iliad Kipnachos. I think are, he's the favorite. Are they from Kenya? Don't know where they're from. Iliad Kipnachos or something like that. It's close. I'm definitely fucking up his you name. Wrote, but you're the Boston yeah, I wrote these down. <laughs> <laughs> you think, how'd you know we're getting into it? I was going to talk about it. I meant to talk about it during the parlays. But uh, I think they're looking at, you know, two hours and five minutes and change, six minutes and change. I'm going to go. He's going to go under that Iliad, and he's going to win. Wow. Yep. He's going to go two hours and four minutes and 37 seconds. And speaking about Boston Marathon and movies we just talked about, Patriots Day. A little corny, but it's a good movie. I like it. It's so corny. When the woman's on top, she's like... I'm from fucking Boston, whatever. She says a wicked bad quote, and it's one of the corniest. Got this. The FBI. Boston FBI? No, ma'am. I'm from Quantico. Well, I'm from Framingham, Massachusetts, and this is my spot, and I ain't fucking leaving. I mean, I know this really happened, and they did have to go back and look at all the store's footage, and he was like, well, they must be here. Like, when he's in there and he's doing that, he's like, Crate and Barrel. And then it's like, oh, God. (laughs) Yeah, and they, two blocks down, that will be <laughs> Target. <laughs> like, Dude, no, I want to show a clip from the corniest scene from any movie. Is when the Boston cop and uh, the guy from the FBI he has like a sniper and she has her pistol. He's like, "What are you doing here?" Or something. She like says some wicked. Oh yeah, 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 I know that. I'm from West Out. What are you doing? Or something like that. And it's like, what? Yeah. It makes me want to turn the. Well, it the wouldn't movie be Worcester because Worcester has nothing to do. Well, she Watertown. can be anywhere. She Welcome be from, to Worcester. She can be from anywhere. <laughs> she can be from. Well, that's an old quote. Yeah. She's from. It's where she's from. It was Watertown. Well, I'm from Framingham, Massachusetts. And I know where <clears throat> she's from. That's what it was. They were in Watertown during the shootout. I know. She came out. She can live anywhere, though. But the quote. You said, I know. You, you said the quote wrong. That's what I'm telling you. I don't think she. Well, she didn't. Say where she her department was from. Oh, you're talking about the cop. Yeah, I was thinking about the guy who came out and was through the sledgehammer. No, so give him hell, boys. No, I didn't say that far. I was talking about the cop. Well, like she was saying where she's. Oh, from. She had, like, yeah, yeah. She, had, she, she said, it wasn't Watertown. It was it was another department. You're right. She said she was from, but yeah, the shootout was where they caught him. Was yeah. Watertown. Yeah, I remember watching that on TV. That was crazy. When was, you got caught, we're we're at a. Uh, the restaurant, local restaurant, and we were throwing things. Like, yeah, yeah. There was like ten of us in our common room at college, and we were like, yeah. Like, <laughs> so there's over thirty thousand runners. Jeez, is that a record? That is ridiculous. It's basically like being out of full Fenway Park, close to. Yeah, it. but you have to qualify to take off, obviously, in the first you know set of people. Absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, just. Uh, Anybody who can run that distance is is it's incredible. I don't care if you're in competing in the top ten or you're finishing last; it doesn't matter. Yeah, you do this. Be, yeah. It's just an amazing accomplishment. But also, we talked about the uh, this is the tenth anniversary of the Boston bombing, and so we wish everybody uh, all the very best. There were lost lives, but there were so many people that lost limbs and were seriously injured. Uh, and just thinking about them, uh, and hopefully everything goes off. Without a hitch tomorrow and stay vigilant. Yeah. In those types of uh, yeah. places. Uh, and then we have our morning Red Sox game. Yep. And the Bruins at night. Mm-hmm. Wow. Great day. Anyways, that's our shout outs, guys. Shout outs. You have any shout outs? That's it. That was okay. it. Shout out to everybody. All right. Um, um I shout out to Yeah. No, I, I have one shout out, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, and this is where it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's like, I'll yeah, bring, it, I'll I'll bring it to a personal note. They might write a movie about it one day. <clears throat> um, oh, no. Yeah. Shout out to Boston. Shout out to Hogwash Barbecue in their competition today. And shout out, shout out to Ethan. Shout out to Ethan. Let's go, Ethan. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell those shout outs and uh, we'll wrap it up. That's it, guys. We're out. We'll see you next week. We have again. <clears throat> We're trying to nail the day down because Joey's got a commitment. Joey has a commitment next week with Mike Lane. So we're trying to get that our guest moved to the day before. We're going to see if we can do that. If we can, we got a very, very special guest coming up, and this is going to be on the hill. So uh, we've already mentioned Logan Mankins will be joining us. Uh, and, folks, That's it's the most – yeah, get to Patriots.com. We're going to blast that out even next week too. But fans got to vote for who gets into the Hall of Fame. It's, it's, it's the most flawed system ever.
Mm-hmm. Um, but everybody, put your uh, vote in for Logan Mankins. Mm-hmm. Uh, he deserves it. And Joey can put the link up to Patriots.com. Link, yeah, link vote. in description. Yeah. On the YouTube video. On the YouTube video, go in the description. There's a link. First one. Vote. Vote. Logan. That's right. it, folks. We'll see you next week. Later. Have a great weekend. Mm-hmm.